I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the bitternut hickory. Bitternut hickory, Kyria cordiformis, is grouped with the pecan hickories. It is also called swamp hickory and bitternut. It is a medium to large sized tree that typically grows about 60 to 90 feet tall and 12 to 24, maybe a little bit larger in inches in diameter. In a forested setting, it develops a long, branch-free trunk that has very little taper and a rounded crown. It is generally intermediate to intolerant of shade and somewhat fast-growing. It is the shortest live of the hickories, typically living only 200 years. Bitternut hickory is probably the most abundant and uniformly distributed of the hickories. It is found throughout the eastern and midwestern forests. It can be found growing on a wide variety of sites, from rich, moist bottomlands to drier hillsides, but best growth is in moist mountain valleys. Bitternut hickory is the most prolific root and stump sprouter of the northern species of hickories, with sprouts arising from stumps, root collar, and the roots. The leaves of bitternut hickory are deciduous and alternately arranged on the branch. The leaves are pinnately compound and they're about 7 to 10 inches long with 7 to 11 leaflets. The leaflets are somewhat lance shaped with serrated margins and the leaf stem is slimber to moderately stout compared to other hickories and somewhat hairy. Leaves are dark green above and paler below. The buds have a sulfur yellow bud scales and are a good identifying characteristic for this tree. Fall color is an attractive and somewhat striking bronzy yellow. Bitternut hickory is monoecious, meaning one house, which means a tree has both male and female flowers. The male flowers are drooping catkins, usually in groups of three, in yellow-green, and they usually emerge before the female flowers. The female flowers are very small, only about an eighth of an inch, and they're in short spikes at the end of the twig. The flowers bloom in spring, between April and May, depending on latitude, and bitternut hickory produces a large amount of pollen, and the flowers are wind-pollinated. The fruit is a globe-shaped nut that's about one to one and a half inches long and is known for its bitter, astringent taste. The fruits are either solitary or groups of twos or threes. The husk on the nut is thin and partially splits from the tip to halfway up the nut. They are green when immature, ripening to a reddish brown, and often have a light covering of a dusty yellow. Fruit ripens in fall during one growing season, and seeds are dispersed almost exclusively by gravity, since it's not a wildlife favorite due to its bitterness. Trees don't begin seed production until about 30 years of age, with best production between 50 and 125 years. Good seed crops are produced at three to five year intervals. Bitternut hickory is one of the tight barked hickories. It's not shaggy like shag bark or shell bark. The bark is smooth and silvery gray when young, and as it ages, the bark develops shallow furrows and interlacing ridges. The bark re resembles mockernut and pignut hickories. The wood is not equal to other hickories in terms of wood hardness and strength. The heartwood tends to be light to medium brown, sometimes with a reddish hue, and the sapwood is paler and somewhat yellowish brown. Boards with contrasting heartwood and sapwood are often called calico hickory. It is considered non-durable to perishable regarding heartwood decay. Along with other hickories, bitternut has a high thermal energy content when burned and makes a high quality firewood. Bitternut hickory does have wildlife value, but not on par with other hickories, which have more palatable fruit. Some birds and mammals do eat the nuts, but they are less favored. It is the larval host for butterflies and luna moths, and the bitternut hickory also supports the hickory horn devil larva. The wood is often lumped with other hickory wood and is used for tool handles and tools because it's shock resistant. The wood is also used for lumber, furniture, flooring, and pulpwood. And due to its high thermal energy content, it is a useful fuel wood and used for charcoal, and the wood is commonly used for smoking meats. The national champion bitternut hickory, as of 2021, is in Brunswick, Virginia. It is 176 inches in circumference, 130 feet tall, with a 103-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion bitternut hickory, as of 2021, is in Woodford County. It's 116 inches in circumference, 117 feet tall, with a 57-foot crown spread. 
If you'd like to know more about Champion Trees, check out American Forest National Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about bitternut hickory. This tree's common name comes from the bitter nuts. The foliage of bitternut hickory has a high calcium content and is near the top of the list of soil improving tree species. Early settlers used oil from the nuts for oil lamps. Native Americans ground the nuts to make an oil, they used it as an insecticide and occasionally as a food, and they also used the wood. The scientific genus name Caria is from the Greek Caria, the name applied to the walnut tree, and the species name Cordiformis is from the Latin cordis, which means heart, and formis, which means shape, probably referring to the shape of the nut. I'm glad you joined me to learn about the bitternut hickory and get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or neighborhood and enjoy this native hickory.